Hello magical souls, in this video I'm going to be taking you on a little thrifting adventure today. We're going to start by going to the dollar store first and then we will go to a bunch of different thrift shops. I am so excited to see what we find today. Thrifting is one of my favorite things ever and you definitely don't have to pay a lot of money for your witchcraft supplies. So I'm hoping that this inspires you to be um, recycling your supplies, reusing and repurposing, all that good stuff obviously. Um, and yeah, let's go see what we find today. Okay, I am outside the Dollar Tree right now and I'm really excited to see what they have inside. Um, I have a friend that just got these cute little colored potion bottles there and obviously they're not actual potion bottles but that's exactly what I would use them for. So I'm excited to see um, the new selection that they have. I used to get a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree but I don't so much anymore now that I've adopted a little bit more of a sustainable practice but um, they still have some really good stuff and it's just really nice to get things cheap and budgeted and that's my favorite. So let's go inside and see what they have. Okay, so I was not able to find those potion bottles that my friend had posted online that I was really, really hoping to find, but it's okay. I still got some cute little spell bottles um, and I got a really nice bottle for moon water and a nice bottle for sun water. Um, what else did I get? I'll end up showing you later on in this video all the stuff that I got anyways, but uh, let's continue our thrifting adventure. Woo!
Okay, so now that I'm back home, I am dying to show you all of the things that I thrifted. This is probably the biggest thrift haul or witchy haul that I think I've had in a while. I definitely found some good stuff this time, so I am so excited to show you. And also, I should not be doing this right now. I should really be doing my homework, but I have no self-control. So here we are. We're gonna talk about witchy things instead, yay. So let's start with all the things that I got from the dollar store, just so you can get an idea of what you can find um, at the dollar store. So they always have spell jars, and I got a few different types, but um, I like these ones because they have the, the cork. Hopefully you can see these okay in the lighting. These ones are just screw top spell jars. And then um, there's so many different sizes. I mean, I got, I got a lot. I got a lot of spell jars. <laughs> they also have the bigger ones here. Um, they come with shells in them, and I just save the shells for another spell later on when I need to invoke the water element or something, but these bottles are my favorite because they're big boys and you can put a lot of things in here. So I got a couple different spell jars. I mean, yeah, I got a lot. Way too many things to put in my hand. And then I also found some glitter because, like, would... Would it be a complete spell without glitter? Maybe not, I don't know. Um, I love putting glitter in my spells because I'm extra. Not everybody does this, but I, I just like to add a little bit of color. I'm very much about color magic, and um, I studied the biopsychology of color, which is fascinating, and I can't wait to make a video on that because it is crazy how color affects us so much, our psychology, psychology and our biology. Anyways, that's a topic for later discussion, but um, I like to incorporate color into my spells whenever I can, so glitter is like a super fun way to do that. And then I also picked up these little, I don't really know what they're called, uh, little rocks maybe? Um, I don't know, They're it's like little gravel pieces or whatever, but um, the color is perfect for an Ostara or a Beltane altar, so I definitely plan on putting these um, on my altar. I usually have like a seasonal altar that I rotate with the Sabbaths, so definitely wanted to pick some of these up. And then I found these really cool bottles, so let me grab a couple. So this one I'm going to use for my moon water. This one I'm going to use for my sun water. And then this one, I don't know what I'm using this for, but it it gave me Ostara vibes. <laughs> and Ostara is coming up soon. So um, I think I'm going to do something in here for Ostara or even Beltane. I don't know what yet, but I thought I'd grab it because it was literally a dollar, which is crazy. Oh, and by the way, everything else on this table is... The highest priced item was $7.99. So everything else is, um, other than the $7.99 item, is under $5, which is crazy. That's the best I've ever done for thrifted items. Usually I'll find something that's like, you know, $10, $10 or $20 if it's a bigger item. But anyways, regardless, moving on. I can't wait to show you this beautiful statue that I found. This is a Black Panther. Um, I have been looking for a Black Panther for a really long time because my power animal, one of my power animals is a Black Panther. I discovered it on a shamanic journey and um, I do a lot of meditations with my power animal. Um, and I was thinking about making a video on that as well, the um, how to find out what your power animal is. It's a um, shamanic concept and there's a whole process to it. But anyways, I found this statue. Isn't this just beautiful? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do some meditations and ritual with this statue. So this was like, this, I think for me, this was the win of the day, for sure. This is absolute gold for me. I also found, I've been looking for glasses for a while for my ancestral altar, so um, I found these beauties. I am in love with these. Hopefully the camera will focus in okay, but um, I got four of them because I do four ancestral offerings on my altar, and these are just Gorgeous, so gorgeous. I love the amber glass and I can't believe that I found a set of them. So I usually, when I do my ancestral offerings, I will do either coffee, tea, wine, or whiskey. And I'll put them in a glass um, and leave them after I do my prayers and spend some time with my ancestors. Um, so I thought these glasses would be perfect. because I've been looking for glasses for a while and just haven't been able to find glasses that really uh, were speaking to me, but these ones just totally spoke to me and I had to have them. So that was a win. And then uh, I always get candles whenever I go to the thrift store. Highly recommend getting your candles from thrift stores because they're super cheap. This 
giant behemoth of a candle was literally $3.99. This giant thing because it was in the Christmas clearance and I can't wait to do some tree magic with this. Um, and tree magic is so healing and transformative. And with these candles, it's so big that I could carve so many different sigils into this thing or I could even carve like a whole scripture if I really wanted to take my time and charge up this candle. I think I'm gonna save this one for something special. I'm definitely gonna save this candle for a rainy day when I'm really, really needing some serious healing. So um, yeah, I can't wait to use this. I didn't pick up many other candles though because I couldn't really find, I, I have a lot of candles right now. I do not need more candles. So I did find this cute little candle holder though. It kind of reminds me of a mushroom a little bit. It's so cute. It's just a candlestick holder, very simple. I think this one was like a dollar, maybe it was a dollar 99, something like that, but so cute. I love anything that looks like a little mushroom. And then, you, you witches, you all, you all witches, I need to show you this. I found this selenite um, tea, tea light holder and I can't believe I found this. I can't believe I found selenite. This is beautiful. So um, just a simple selenite tea light holder, but I, that is definitely something that is going on my altar as well. Like I said, I'm trying to like speed through these items because I have so many items that I want to show you. Um, I also found this cute little cup. Uh, it's more like a, a creamer pitcher, you know, it's got like the little, the spout. I always am trying to look for things like this because not only is it beautiful and black and matches my altar, which is also black and a very uh, midnight magic-y, but it's, it's hard to pour things when you're making different anointing oils and such. So I needed something with that little, that little tip you know, that pours. So I thought this was perfect, super cheap, super easy way to make my oils. And then if you've watched my last thrifting vlog, you know that I'm a sucker for bowls. I, I, I always end up with a bowl. Like, I don't know why, I have so many freaking bowls. I don't know why I keep buying more bowls, but I really liked this bowl. It was a good size. I'm probably gonna put some more crystals in here. I don't know, I'm probably gonna put some, some oil bottles in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I just liked it. It matches my whole aesthetic, so I absolutely had to have it. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you is a big boy. So let me stand up to get it. So I found this chest. Um, I'm really excited about it because again, it's all, all black, which matches my aesthetic. So I love that it is almost in perfect condition. There's like no scratches or dents or anything. And the inside, let me flip it around is pretty flawless as well. And again, like this was under $5. Are you kidding me? Under $5. So I'm going to probably store all of my unused um, spell bottles in because I don't have anything to, to store spell jars yet. So I'm probably gonna do that. We'll see, but I am so happy that I found something like this because it's just gonna look great in my witchy room. Okay, so I only have a couple items left, but I found this beautiful tree goddess look at her she is stunning so she has some styrofoam that's stuck to her and i need to um get that off obviously and she just needs some tlc she just needs a little cleanup i haven't even i haven't even had time to like cleanse any of these items yet so um i mean i, I cleaned most of them not her though because the styrofoam is like literally all over so i still need to do that but yeah she is just so beautiful i can't believe i found her she is definitely going on my ostara and beltane altar and then afterwards maybe i'll put her in my garden i'm not really sure and the best part is I found another one. I found two of them. I don't really feel like it's meant for me though. I felt like I needed to get both, but I think that this has to be gifted to somebody. And I'm not, I think there's somebody in my life that needs this. I'm not really sure who, but I just grabbed it because I thought it was um, beautiful and I really, really wanted to gift it to somebody, but I wasn't sure who it was. So anyways, she's got some styrofoam on her as well, but oh, these are just little tree nymphs. I love tree nymphs. The next item that I have is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. <laughs> so this thing is a beautiful chest. Look at that. Look at that beautiful treasure chest. And it's my favorite color too. I love that deep emerald green. That's my absolute favorite color. And it's in really good condition. The latch works. The inside looks decent. 
I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. Maybe my anointing oils. I might do that. But isn't this just so beautiful? Look at the detail on it. Oh, I'm in love with it. I'm so in love with it. I can't believe that I found this. This is probably one of the most beautiful things I've seen in a while. So yeah, definitely grateful for that. And the fact that it's my favorite color, like, oh, yes, yes. I love that kind of stuff. Okay. Last item. This is so cool. This is so, okay. My witches out there that are a little bit science nerdy, like I am, um, you're going to love this. Okay. So I found this. Let me see if I can show you. It looks like science beakers or <laughs> science beakers. Oh, geez. Um, you know, the beakers that you would use in a laboratory. And I think that they look so fucking cool. Like they just look so cool and it creates, so you know how people do um, a salt circle sometimes around their magical working, whatever they're doing. This takes a salt circle to a whole new level. When I was um, checking out at the register, the, <laughs> the lady checking me out, she was like, this looks like a bong. And I was like, oh, all right, yeah, I guess it kind of kind of does look like a bong, but that's not where my mind was going with it. But um, I just think it's so cool because I cannot wait to stuff um, different salts and herbs into all of these little beakers. I don't even know what else to call them, but oh man, this is cool. Like if I want a supercharged circle for something, if I'm you know because it's big enough to to work on something inside. If I really want a supercharged circle, I just can put my salts and my herbs into these little things all the way around, and oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to use this. Think this thing is going to be really handy for me. And that concludes this witchy haul. You can see my little doggo in the back right now. Thank you so much for watching. I love thrifting. These are one of my favorite types of videos to make. That and book recommendations. Books and thrifting, like, yes, 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 yes. Mm, that is a sweet spot. So, anyways, I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.